Hi everybody, I am going to focus on long duration voltage variations and short duration voltage variations. Actually, these topics are related to electric power quality. First of all, the electric power quality means we have to transfer the qualitative power from generating stations to consumer premises. Whenever disturbances are happening in the system, there is a decreasing in the quality of power transferred. These are the one of the causes in order to decrease the power quality. That is the long duration voltage variations and short duration voltage variations. Regarding the long duration voltage variations, when the RMS value of voltage deviates for duration more than one minute. According to the American National Standard Institute, C84.1 specifies the steady state voltage tolerances expected on your power system. A voltage variation is considered to be longer duration when the American National Standard Institute limits are exceeded for greater than one minute. The sources or causes produced these long duration voltage variations are load variations and system switching operations. These long duration voltage variations can be either over voltages or under voltages. Regarding the over voltages, it is an increase in the RMS AC voltage greater than 110% at the power frequency for duration longer than 1 minute. These voltages just that is the over voltages are usually the result of load switching that is switching of a large loads or energizing a capacitor banks the over voltages result because either the system is too weak for the desired voltage regulation or voltage controls are inadequate Incorrect tap settings on transformers can also result in system over voltages. Regarding the under voltages, it is defined as it is a decrease in the RMS AC voltage to less than 90% the power frequency for a duration longer than 1 minute. Under voltages are the result of switching events that are the opposite of the events that causes over voltages. A load switching on or a capacitor bank switching off can cause an under voltage until voltage regulation equipment on the system can bring the voltage back to within tolerance. Overload circuits can result in under voltages. Then coming to the sustained interruptions. When the supply voltage becomes zero for a period of time in excess of one minute. The longer duration voltage variations is considered a sustained interruption. Thus, the voltage interruptions longer than one minute are often permanent and requires human intervention to repair the system for restoration. The second one is short duration voltage variation. The definition for this short duration voltage variation is when the RMS value of voltage deviates for duration less than one minute. Each type of variation can be designated as instantaneous, momentary or temporary depending on its duration. These short duration voltage variations are caused by fault conditions, the energization of large loads which required high starting currents or intermittent loose connections in power wiring. Depending on the fault location and the system conditions, the fault can cause either temporary voltage drops that is called as SACs, voltage raises 
it is called as swells or a complete loss of voltage it is called as interruption in either cases the impact on the voltage during the actual fault condition is of the short duration variation until protective devices operate to create to clear the fault this short duration voltage variations is categorized as first one is interruption second one is sacks third one is swells regarding the interruptions when the supply voltage or load current decreases to less than 0.1 per unit for a period of time not exceeding 1 minute these interruptions can be the result of power system faults equipment failures and control malfunctions some interruptions may be preceded by voltage sag when these interruptions are due to faults on the source system the voltage sag occurs between the between the lines a fault initiates and the protective device operates take a look on this graph it shows such a momentary interruption during which voltage on one phase sags to about 20% for about 3 cycles and then drops to zero for about 1.8 seconds until the recloser closes back in then coming to the sags it is also called as dips it is a decrease in rms voltage or current between 0.1 and 0.9 per unit at the power frequency for duration from 0.5 cycle to 1 minute these voltage sags are usually associated with system faults but can also be caused by energization of heavy loads or starting of large motors this graph clearly shows that a typical voltage sag that can be associated with a single line to ground fault on another feeder from the same substation an 80% sag exists for about 3 cycles until the substation breaker is able to interrupt the fault current typical fault clearing time range from 3 to 30 cycles depending on the fault current magnitude and the type of power current production the last one that is swells it is defined as an increase to between 1.1 and 1.8 per unit in rms voltage or current at the power frequency for duration from from 0.5 cycle to 1 minute as with sags swells are usually associated with the system fault condition but they are not as common as voltage sags one way that a swell can occur is from the temporary voltage rise on the unfaulted phases during an slg fault that is a single line to ground fault this plot shows or illustrates a voltage swell causes by an slg fault swells can also be caused by switching off a large load or energizing a large capacitor banks the conclusion of this topic is in the long duration voltage variation it is the variation of the quantity voltage quantity that is the rms value of voltage deviates for duration more than 1 minute and in the case of short duration voltage variations the rms value of uh, voltage deviates from duration less than 1 minute in the case of the long duration voltage variation it is more than 1 minute and in the case of short duration voltage variation it is less than 1 minute this rms value of voltage deviates and it will be categorized 
these long duration voltage variations are categorized as uh, over voltages under voltages and sustained interruptions and these short duration voltage variations are categorized as interruption sags swells the sags is also called as dips and swells is also called as uh, there is an uh, increasing in the quantity